Well, I'm Sean O with Rest Equip Pro. We're back here at the Rest Equip Pro table, and today we're talking about the RoboCoop Immersion Blenders. And the first segment we're going to cover is the mini MPs, the smallest in the lines, the handhelds, if you will. This is the professional grade machines, as opposed to a little uh, little fifty dollar thing you might see at uh, at one of the retail stores or something. So this is professional tools. We'll show you why they're different. The mini MP line from Robocoop starts with the micro mix. This is the least expensive little chef tool out there. Now a lot of the other models you would see, they look like this. You would buy them, and they would be one piece solid. You can't remove the shaft or anything. But on a mini, a micro mix Robocoop. You can remove the entire shaft. The shaft is removable. The blade is removable and replaceable. All of the parts in this machine are replaceable, even in this small format, less expensive model. So that's where Robocoop goes all the way the extra mile to make sure that everything is professional quality and meant to last your professional lifetime. So we've got the micro mix. Next up the line are two more models, and I'm going to show you one of them. This is the Mini MP240 VV. There is the number 190 below it, and all that is is a shorter shaft length. This shaft's eight inches long. The micro mix, so the 190 is in between the micro and the 240. Then after the 240, we move up to the compact range we'll talk about later. The Mini MP240 VV, VV stands for variable speed. The micro mix also has variable speed control on the top of the handle, so you can turn the speed up or down. Very useful for many different types of products, as we'll see here in a minute. Also, Mini MP240, along with the removable shaft that the Micromix has, the 190 and the 240 also have removable shaft and, like the larger machines, removable bell housing and blade housing also. So the shaft is separate from the blade and bell housing. Now we've got these parts here. You have, you can take the shaft off the Micromix also, but we've got some other things on the table we want to look at real quick. The other parts with the Mini MP series, you'll see we've got shaft, you get the bell housing. You have a splash guard. It's a silicon splash guard. Slides up the drive shaft. It sits right here above the motor for if you're really getting in some hot, dirty work, you don't want the stuff to splash up into the motor possibly. So there's a splash guard included. With this also is one of the most important pieces, and you see this little thing here dangling. This is a tool. This is the blade removal tool for all of the machines. The different series might have a different size for the larger machines, but this is what the tool looks like. And what it consists of is this device here and this right here, which is the wrench. This device is used with the bell housing, just like that, to be able to immobilize and keep the blade from spinning while you're going to unscrew it, if you will, and replace the drive sockets or replace the blade itself or remove it to clean and sanitize inside there. A note on immersion blenders in general. A lot of people will buy an immersion blender, they'll stick it in tubs of hot soup, they'll use it, they'll take it back to wear washing, and they will rinse it off, they rinse off the end of the bell housing. They think that's it. Okay, Robocoop knows to truly sanitize your equipment, you need to be able to take it apart. That's why Robocoop's ability to disassemble their machines and to buy and get replacement parts for any of these machines for the lifetime of your machine is one of the reasons that Robocoop adds more value than anyone else out there and has the best equipment. So we've got the tool, we've got the bell housing, you get a splash guard. Here's a wall hanger for it. You put that on the wall and your machine hangs right there so it's within reach and also you're not hanging it by your cord. We'll talk about that later. And then another device, you've got an extra blade that comes with this machine. Now a standard blade is the sharper standard immersion blender blade for cutting and blending to high speeds. This blade takes, goes in there in place of the other blade, but you'll notice it's sort of a winged paddle device, if you will. And what it does is it spins around and it whips and emulsifies. All right? So this is used for several things that are very interesting. But the standard blade can do most all of the other functions that we're going to show you right here with the micro. So we're going to get into it right now. We're, we're set up. We're ready to roll. I'm going to reach over here. We've got some, got some beautiful, beautiful heavy whipping cream. And we're going to show you something people do, do very often in most operations with little hand mixers and uh, we'll just whip some cream. So we're going to take a look here. We'll notice start button right here, ergonomic handle. You'll notice all of the mini MPs and the largers have a forward-facing ergonomic handle, and the weight is designed to hang very comfortably. That's how this works. So it's called immersion for a reason. You submerge it in the product. A note on immersion blenders. The theory in the industry is, is two sides. In, in most production cooking, you either take your food to the appliance or 
you bring your appliance to the food. So in this instance, immersion blending, we bring the appliance to the vessel. And that's very important here because it has to do with the size of the machines and why are there 28 different ones with Robocoop. Okay, the first thing is it's because the size of the shaft and the size of the machine dictates how large a vessel and how much material you can work with. So our micro mix here is good for anything small up to the height of the shaft. So you'll see our little, we're working with a little two quart right here doing the whipped cream. It's about halfway up the shaft. We could have a vessel up to the bottom of the motor right there and that's what it's designed to do. All your vessels should be the height of the shaft and bell housing so that it's not so deep that you could submerge the motor in it while it's running. That's why there's 28 different models in various sizes. So we can start, hold that on, variable speed on top. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. We're gonna start low and I'm gonna see how we do here. Look at the action here. You see I can move it to get different action. You'll notice I have the bell down into the corner of the vessel. We'll talk about that too. It creates a vortex that helps to whip and blend the whipped cream. So we're gonna take a look here. We're gonna let this go and we're gonna see what, how it comes out in just a minute. Okay, all right, we've got about, it's about 60 to 90 seconds, maybe two minutes out if you had to, but it's done now. We're gonna take a look at this. Producer Doug's gonna come right in here. We're gonna take a look. This is with the micro mix, about 60 to 90 seconds, whipped cream. Take a look at that. Come right in here and take a look at that. Look how stiff, beautiful it is. Oh, it's delicious. Mm, hard whip, beautiful, about a minute and a half. Very small handheld micro mix. Very versatile, amazing, amazing. It's about 10,000 RPM. Look at that, whip that cream right up. I go another, another minute or so and it's pure butter. It's amazing. So that's the micro mix. It's the smallest unit out there. Variable speed, removable shaft, removable blade in a unit that small isn't anywhere else in the industry. So that's the smallest one. We're gonna take a look over here at the 240. Now you've seen whipped cream there. Now we're gonna do something that's very, very common. And in another, another video later in this series, you're gonna see something similar in a larger volume. But first, let's just do this. We'll put the shaft in the machine. This is the 240, as we said. It's the eight inch shaft. We'll put the bell housing on it. That rotates in, tightens in. Okay, we're all good to go. Move our accessories out of the way. Now, back to our conversation about the different models and the sizes of the shaft and the sizes of the vessels you're working in, okay? Today, for this demonstration, I've got a four quart, okay? And we look at it, I've got regular water and kidney beans, okay? Very common for soups and ingredients and stuff, but this will illustrate how, how this works. So, you turn it on, we're gonna turn it up, you're gonna see the, the action, but we're gonna look, watch the beans get blended into the water. Now, there's very few beans and a lot of water. That's why this demonstration is good. If it was completely full of beans, well, of course, it's easy, easy to be moved and you're gonna get right in there and just start blending that, that stuff. But because there are so few beans and a lot of water, the action of the bell housing needs to circulate all the material through the blades to blend the beans into the water. So what we're gonna do, it's very simple. We're gonna start here. You see the action, we're gonna turn it up. As we turn it up, the beans are getting sucked into the blades along with the water and they're getting chopped and cut and blended. Now you'll see what, full speed, I'm really turning this water and we're turning it at very high speeds and it's really spinning around. We're gonna turn it up all the way and look at it go there. Now we can lift, lift up a little bit off the bottom and look at the speed really take off here. Now you, 
we've got about 30 seconds in there. We're going to stop right there at 30 seconds. I'm going to illustrate something about the shaft and the length and everything. You notice I picked this four liter for a reason, this four quart. You notice the machine hangs on the edge perfectly with the length of the shaft, the bell housing down in the opposite corner of the vessel, and it, that's what creates that vortex. Now, producer Doug, if you can get in a little closer here and you see the liquid, you'll see we've got tiny, tiny little shards and the little tiny bits of bean floating around in there. It's only about 30 seconds. We can hit this some more. Okay, there we go. We're gonna pull this out. Let's let this turn and settle. Now, if this was a, this was a big soup or a stew or cooked soup that you need to turn into bisque, which is probably the number one original application for immersion blenders out there. You know, they were invented in France. Robocoup is from France also. And the immersion blenders were used mostly in giant, large industrial pots of soup and stew to blend the ingredients to make smooth bisque. It was very common. So that's kind of what I'm trying to illustrate right here. Now, you take a look at the liquid, and that was about a half a cup of beans suspended in, in what is about, oh, about a half a gallon of water. So you see the action of the blades moving all the material through the bell housing to cut whatever's in there. So that's what an immersion blender is for. Now, once again, we mentioned the size of the shaft happened to be the depth of this vessel. That is how you size and buy your immersion blender, based on the largest vessel that you're going to be blending in. So very common. You'll see in our next series about the larger machines, the different types of vessels we'll talk about and what they're for. So here you go. That's the mini micro mix, the mini MP240 in the mini series with Robocoop. We'll talk about the rest of the immersion blenders in another video. But remember to like and subscribe to the Rest Equip Pro channel because we try and bring you the very best. Because I'm Sean O, the Rest Equip Pro.